Uh, and now you can see something that's actually pretty cool and it surprised me. But you can see that it actually gave me exact uh, table for how to code it as well. So in this short video, I want to share with you yet another way in which you can use ChatGPT to support your qualitative data analysis, your, your coding and your thematic analysis, especially in situations where you're kind of stuck. So uh, you're reading something that's maybe pretty difficult and challenging. You're not sure how to code it. You're not sure how it's relevant to your research questions, or maybe you're not even sure what it means because it's, it's a, just a difficult topic. And in that situation, there is a specific prompt, specific instruction that I found to be very useful. Uh, I'll be using uh, custom GPT, which is a free version, is just another custom free GPT. So free version of ChatGPT. If you're not sure where to find it, just go to explore GPTs and start typing thematic analysis, which is uh, where you find it. So you can use normal free ChatGPT as well. It, it will probably do the same things more or less, except that this one, which as I said, is completely free. So I don't see any reason why you wouldn't use it. Uh, it's just more focus on thematic analysis because I had to input all that instruction and all that uh, information for how to conduct thematic analysis. So I feel like it's just a little bit less distracted than normal ChatGPT. And now I'm uh, assuming also that uh, you're doing the analysis, like you're doing the coding somewhere else, whether it's software for data analysis, maybe it's Microsoft Word or Excel, that's where you keep your, your stuff. And then you just turn to ChatGPT as you encounter this difficult uh, paragraph or section. However, you can also uh, use the same prompt or instruction, what I'll show you in a situation where you're just using ChatGPT fully uh, from scratch, for your coding and data analysis. For that, I have separate videos about it and I have a whole ebook in which I explain and I share different prompts and I explain how to use ChatGPT to do the analysis from scratch. But, but here we're just focusing on that difficult part, this difficult paragraph that we're not sure how to code. So I'll be using, just to make sure that it is difficult, I'll be using transcripts from a couple of TED talks about methane, methane, methane or whatever it's uh, it's pronounced i actually had to look it up just before recording and i forgot already but uh but you know what i mean because i put it on the screen now about uh emissions of that gas how to how to manage it how to reduce it so uh so i i found i looked up different uh, videos different speeches about it uh downloaded the, the transcripts and i'm just pretending that it's it's part of my study so it's really as always it's really about uh, just providing ChatGPT with a with, uh, good prompt. So you can see here is what I'll do. I'll just uh, paste a prompt that I already uh, I already prepared in advance. And what it says is uh, just basically explaining, as always, explaining to ChatGPT what the study is about. If you watch my other videos, you may, uh, you may remember that sometimes I don't want to tell ChatGPT what I'm working on because I want it to be pretty uh, objective, as objective as possible. But that's if I'm just uh, creating codes, if I just want uh, ChatGPT to code uh, my data to create a list of initial codes. Here, however, I do want it to, to know what I'm working on because that's the whole point. I want to uh, understand how what I'm reading is actually relevant because it's so difficult. Like I said, I actually chose this difficult data so that, so that I really don't know what to think about it. So I'm starting by explaining, I'll be working on a study which explores ways and innovative techniques to monitor, manage and reduce methane, I think that's what it is, emissions with the following research question. So I'm explaining my research question and, and here is the important part after the research question. So I will now be pasting quotes from expert interviews and then I would like you to summarize each quote in simple terms, so that's important, then explain the relevance of the quote for the research question and then give me suggestions for how to code the extract with qualitative coding. So now you don't need to, you don't have to have all these elements. It's kind of uh, something that I worked out eventually uh, and it was entirely based on ChatGPT's uh, initiative basically. So I, I just started with uh, trying to just asking it to summarize uh, difficult parts, but then eventually it's, it started to, as always, be a little bit, you know, all over the place, give me different things. And then I thought, okay, why not make this into a prompt? So so that's what we'll do. Every time there is a difficult extract, we want uh, to paste it, we want to first understand it. Maybe based on that, we can already, obviously we can code it, but then if it's not enough, then we want to, to see how 
uh, how it may be relevant to the research question, and then maybe get some ideas for coding, which are uh, admittedly not always great from ChatGPT, but sometimes, just sometimes, it may give us some good ideas. So following this, let's just paste the first quote. You can see how complicated this data is. Uh, you can see the, the actual transcript here. I don't understand much from it. Uh, so now you can see what happens. You can see the output of this, of this, the result of this instruction. So it's giving me the summary of the quote. The expert discusses the various sources of methane. I'll, I'll finally learn that word for you. Emissions such as cows, blah, blah, blah. They highlight the historical challenge. And now, okay, what is the relevance to the research question? This quote is highly relevant to the research question. Uh, and then explains how it's relevant, why it's relevant. And then it gives me different uh, coding suggestions. So sources of, of methane emissions, uh, challenges, technological innovations, which is what my research question is about. And then gives me exact uh, quotes where this is to be found so that if I'm working on, on with data analysis software, I can go back to that software, actually select these, uh, these quotes now, select these extracts and code them, whether it's going to be exactly what it uh, gives me in terms of the code ideas, or maybe it's uh, my ideas now developed based on that understanding from that summary. Uh, and now you can see something that's actually pretty cool. And it surprised me because every time, like I said, it's, you know, ChatGPT is never consistent, which can be and usually is a bad thing. And sometimes it's a good thing, but you can see that it actually gave me exact a uh, table for how to code it as well. So that's pretty cool. And and this is also pretty specific to this ChatGPT because I, when I was training it, I also tried to train it to do uh, how to do a table where your text is on the left, code's on the right, usually it doesn't do it. And this time it decided to do it. So, so it's a nice addition, as you can see, to our analysis. And now let's paste just one more extract. It's a combination, I think, of, uh, of that one presentation, TED Talk, and then the other TED Talk as well. Uh, so it's going to be a bit of a, of a mess, but let's see what it gives us. So again, summary of the quote tells us about, you know, some, uh, some stuff that I don't understand as you can see. So here, you know, a bunch of, uh, terms, but it does summarize it for us. Relevance to the research question. That's pretty important. Like I said, because it, it really helps you understand. Okay. So that's, that's how I can use it. That's how it's actually important uh, or relevant. So it tells us about relevance, coding suggestions, again, tell us about the different ideas for codes. And this is a starting point. So this is something I can use, I guess, to continue uh, my work on, on coding. As you can see, it can be a very useful tool this way. And by, by combining these different, uh, different instructions, it's still working. Uh, by combining these different instructions, we get uh, basically the most of it. So we get the summary, we get some discussion of the relevance. Combining all of that really gives us additional insight and possibly helps us just helps us push forward and continue the analysis. So that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. It's still working on, on the codes. I can't believe it. So it's actually getting better than uh, every day because usually it's pretty limited in the number of suggested codes. Hope you, you learned something new, like the video if you did comment underneath uh, if you have anything to comment on. Tell me, let me know if you work ch uh, with ChatGPT in any way. Ask me questions if you have any. Remember, if you have more questions, if you need a more tailored, more specific, more personal support, there is a whole bunch of services that I offer. Have a look at my website. Have a look at the services. We can meet, we can talk. I can help you plan and conduct your study.